flop shots are the next pointer, and these are probably the most difficult shots that you'll face on, on the course. I like to grab my highest lofted wedge. For me, that's a 60 degree wedge. I get a really, really wide base with my weight forward. A lot of people like to put their weight back. They think they need to to launch the ball up in the air. But you do that by creating the loft through the swing, by allowing the club to get down there early. So you actually want your weight forward to, to create a clean strike on your front foot with a wide base. And then as you take your swing, you want a real kind of wide arcing swing that comes down and lets the club deliver early so that you can get that effective loft and then follow through up and hit that kind of high, soft, short shot. On this specific shot, we've got water short. Therefore, we can't miss short. You've got to, if anything, air long. And in order to do that, the straighter you can keep your arms going back, not bending your elbows, the better. Because even if you don't strike it perfectly, the bounce will carry the ball further. Okay, so as I approach this, again, wider stance, real kind of bent over, real athletic stance. My weight is probably 60-40 onto my front foot. I'm gonna take it back real wide. And that's a spinner right there. That's gonna spin off the back. Here it comes and you've got a chance to save par. That's how you hit a flop shot.